Hi, welcome back to Retro Renovations where you join us under an apple tree. It's growing quite a bit since we parked this up. So this is Faith and uh, I've just been underneath. More welding. Living forward, eh? join me at the driver's door and I'm going to take you down now to the sill under the drivers oh yes stick your hand in don't know if the camera's going to pick this up nice big hole yeah I think the camera can see that I just poked that in there because there is the sill and that's nice the actual inner, inner sill is very very solid ironically but we did a lot of welding to this last year just show you underneath the van a bit dark there we go generally for her age the chassis is very good as you can see for over 30 years old she's pretty good really that's the uh, heater that I haven't finished and on these transits because they're coach built they have a big extension part on the back so she's ever so long the tire has gone down in storage I don't know why we're gonna have to take that off and take that up to the uh, to get assessed but yeah generally a little bit of surface rust here and there but for her age she's very good there's the gearbox that we had put in a couple of years ago so I've checked all the inner box sections they seem all right just literally is if I come back out sorry that so that's a job for next weekend then because today we're gonna get on with the bathroom Okay, we're back in the bathroom. So, as you can see, the ceiling was damaged during the winter months, and I've now removed everything around the skylight, and the culprit was in that corner. It's now been sealed, but we're going to remove this section of wall now, or this board, I should say. Remove the old insulation from behind it, which is the horrible, itchy stuff, and. Uh, re it with some real nice lightweight modern bit stuff I'll show you that and then uh, yeah, we've got some nice new board to go up we'll show you that as well lucky day
Right, while that's drying, I put a new beam in in the front room, which I forgot to record. Um, and that's just supporting the roof. And as you can see, I've put screws and so on. The roof's all insulated across. I'm now going to, I've marked where the beams are, and I'm going to put the new timbers up. Like two magnets, we are drawn to each other. You just know how to push all my buttons. Moved out of town and I erased your number. But still, I find myself calling in the middle of the night. And there is nothing I can do. I am madly drawn to you. I know you feel the Welcome back to, for us, another morning. So uh, yesterday we got half the roof fitted with the wood that we had in stock and on Monday Peggy's going to go and get some more wood so we can do that side and then all, obviously the awkward curvy bits and what have you. So uh, today is to get back on with the bathroom. So what we did yesterday, we glued and set it in a replacement beam on the wall and on the roof we will replace that beam there so today we're going to insulate and board out the stuff the insulation i are putting in the bathroom is many many layers it's the leftover stuff that we had in our Luton build um, I can't give you the, the manufacturer but it's triple layered foil insulation it is about a hundred pound a roll <laughs> Um, obviously I need 20 by 23, I'm just going to cut that out now. Well guys, I got two involved, two carried away, and too many swear words. But the bathroom does look really good. You heard it here first. I'm still going to find bits and pieces, like, over the next few weeks. She's going to find bits and pieces in her hair as well. Yeah, and then <laughs> a t-shirt down my arm, everything. So, I'm going to give you a little tour of the bathroom and see what you guys think. And I'm going to oh, drop the camera and I'm going to go and rest now and have a good drink. See you later. <laughs>